Welcome back Courtside Digest, it's Josh and today I'm making a follow up video on Leangelo Ball as I am now becoming certain we are on the verge of seeing him ink another NBA contract and finally getting to suit up in the NBA. I began last video with mention of his brother Lamelo, who had just won Rookie of the Year despite a considerable chunk of his season missed due to a wrist injury. The fact that he still managed to beat out Anthony Edwards for that distinction, it's a testament to how important and influential Lamelo has already become in Charlotte. And as a struggling smaller market team, I would imagine they are already looking to do everything possible to keep him happy. I also brought up the situation of Giannis in last video as his importance to the Bucks organization, it's led their front office to extend a contract and some very generous playoff minutes to his brother Thanasis, who otherwise, in my opinion, would likely not have a spot in the NBA. Similarly, I believe Lamelo is starting to get the same type of star treatment very early in his career, and it's been reported that Leangelo is now training with the Hornets in Charlotte. Many people had already known about this initial report, but just the other day his grandfather confirmed on Instagram Live that Leangelo was still currently in Charlotte with the team. So I take that as a really good sign that the management in Charlotte has liked what they've seen thus far from Leangelo, and his chemistry with Lamelo has definitely maximized his output while well there. We already know, this is not the first NBA team to show significant interest in Leangelo, as he's also been linked before with the Pistons, OKC, but neither working out for various reasons ranging from the COVID-19 pandemic to some really untimely injuries. So at this point, I think Leangelo at very least slots onto their summer league roster in the upcoming months and potentially into the first half of the season. I've been hearing a lot of people like, oh, what's he doing? Like, did he stop playing? Is he still trying to make the league? I said, all that, all that, yeah. I've been hooping my hardest every time. I, my mental is real strong when it comes to the game because it's not like, I don't feel like, oh, I got to prove something. Like, I love the game so much. I just, I really play for fun. If someone told me that I wasn't going to make the NBA tomorrow, I'd still probably work out. I'd still go hoop. That's just what I love doing. Like, so I feel like when the call do come, I'm ready. Like, I already feel like I'm ready. I'm really just trying to get there. Now, if I play with my brothers, then they really in trouble. Uh, and that's a fact. Jello, every time he's played with us, AU to wherever he's gone, he's always been the leading scorer. Whether it be at Chino Hills, whether it be on the JBA, whether it be in Lithuania, whether it be in the JBA World Tour, he was always the leading scorer. That boy can put the ball in a hole better than any of my boys. In the last video, I had already confirmed that he's set to play in the Drew League, but some more exciting details have emerged since. It seems Leangelo and likely the mastermind father LeVar Ball are now doing everything they possibly can do to illustrate that the Ball brother chemistry is still alive and well. It's now been confirmed that they are putting together their own team to compete in the Drew, which is going to be composed of some of the more elite players from those championship teams that they had out there in Chino Hills. So they are rounding up the old crew totally Avengers style to bring us that old dynamic that put all of them on the map, and it's going down in their home state of California no less. And I know for any other high school basketball fans out there, this is just going to be pure culture to watch, but even more importantly for Leangelo, it's going to be that final step to show that he is ready to hop back in there and that his chemistry with Lamelo is truly special. And I also shouldn't underplay the fact that he's going to be reunited with Lonzo here as well, another guy who's really proven himself in the NBA, especially so in recent years. So there's a ton of reasons to view this opportunity as a really big one for Leangelo. And from a fan perspective, like I said, it's just going to be pure culture to watch. Vintage Chino Hills Ball Brothers is something special. And if we can come anywhere close to that in the Drew League, it's going to look great for all three of them. I am just counting down the days until we get to hear LeVar Ball say I told you so once again because, you know, out of all the things you could say about the guy, he really hasn't missed when it comes to predicting his son's careers. Leangelo is the one who's obviously fallen back a bit, but he's got to get a lot of credit for what he's done marketing his boys, trading them all the time, and getting them in this position right now where all three of them are soon to be on NBA contracts. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm super excited to see this. Definitely talk amongst yourself about other rumors you've heard about the Ball Brothers because Leangelo is a guy who could go make a career for himself even without LaMelo. I just really view this opportunity as Charlotte as the one that's going to get it done for him right now. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you guys as always.